Um, yeah. Okay, uh, my name is Kornel Lahutz. Uh, I'm the developer of Scarab Darkroom, uh, which is a digital camera raw converter uh, software, photo processing software. And otherwise, I am living as a freelance programmer. Um, and I got the topic uh, debugging tips, and I decided to do that on uh, Visual Studio. And uh, I picked five features which uh, I want to show you. And I picked Visual Studio because it's the environment which I've been using for a very long time. And uh, I think it's one of the best uh, C process IDs out there, um, mainly because of its debugger, actually. Um, so the first feature uh, that I want to show you is uh, edit and continue. So uh, I'm going to try to do a live demo. And I already have a debug session running here. Uh, so here is my software. And uh, um, I've put in a little bug. Here you can see that this highlight is kind of greenish. So now I'll trigger breakpoint by modifying some colors. Yeah. Of course, the live demo I have to restart because. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Doing live uh, demo was uh, probably a bad idea. <laughs> so I have this little issue here, this bug that I've put in. And I'm going to trigger the breakpoint. And yeah, what's wrong here is that uh, yeah, this min here should be a maximum. And what uh, Visual Studio allows me to do is change this. And it can basically recompile it and apply these changes on the fly. And uh, afterwards, I can uh, basically uh, continue debugging um, and also try out if the code is not good. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can see that the highlight is. Uh, uh, correct now on the image. And this is a great feature for uh, trying out things uh, quickly and iterating. Um, OK. The next feature I want to show you is uh, that it can show the return values. Uh, start. Uh, So uh, you might sometimes have the problem that uh, you want to find out if a function succeeded, but you didn't uh, set the return value into a um, variable. And uh, Visual Studio has this handy feature of actually showing uh, the return value of the last function in the uh, auto window. Uh, the old school way to do this was actually to check the EAX uh, register, which might also work on in other IDEs uh, on PC, which also contains the return value if it's the return value is some integer value. So that, that might work as well too. Uh, next feature is show an elements of an array. So. Um, I'm here in this function, and I have, for example, a pointer. And I want to see what this points to. Um, well, the problem is I only see it one element, and this uh, points to a four element vector of floating point values. But uh, I would like to see more values. So there's a handy feature that uh, I can add a comma and a number after here, for example, 16. 
and that will basically show me exactly 16 values from this uh, pointer, uh, which is kind of handy. I shouldn't have quit because the I could have shown the next feature right here. So the other feature, next feature I want to show is this set uh, next uh, statement. And basically this feature is that you can take where the execution point is and move it up somewhere and then we run this piece of code, for example. And for example, if you do something with this edit and continue and change something, then you can go up and then rerun a piece of code to, to try it out with, with the changes. So this is another handy feature. And the last feature I want to show you is step back, which is a new feature. Uh, and it's unfortunately only available in the enterprise edition, which is super expensive. And uh, this feature is not uh, enabled by default. Um, because it slows things down a bit, I guess this, this is why they didn't enable it by default. And this is basically um, a time traveling debugger. You can step through the code. Oh, let's do it elsewhere. And what it does is that it basically saves states of the, of the program. And here you can step back to earlier states and inspect the value of variables on, in, in, in those states. It only works, it only creates these uh, steps when you are actually stepping. So you can't go back to points before you actually uh, hit a breakpoint, but it can still be useful. Uh, and yeah, this was pretty much it. Uh, if you want more visual studio tips, the first one is a 45 minute walk with lots of uh, interesting uh, tips for video, visual studio debugging. And uh, yeah, otherwise, this was my talk. Yeah, thank you. So.